So in this uh, little video, we're just going to look at the Gallimard Snide 110 surface to see if we can understand uh, the bonding arrangements and the position of dangling bonds on the surface. So I'm looking down on the uh, on the uh, 110 surface at the moment, and you can see these open uh, voids which uh, present themselves in that uh, direction. So these big gaps here. Uh, but if we look at the bonding arrangement of the surface atoms, we start here with this blue atom, so this is representing uh, uh, arsenic, gallium, arsenic. And you can see that as, as we move along this surface, which is panning along here, uh, they're formed in this zigzag arrangement that uh, I mentioned uh, in the lecture. So we can also see the surface unit cell, which is formed by these four pink atoms, that one, that one, that one and that one uh, and then within that we've got this zigzag again. So we just want to think about the bonding of these uh, plastic ball representations of atoms to the layers below. So in order to do that we're just going to uh, scan down so we're going to look at the crystal along this direction so normal to the plane and in fact one of along one of the other equivalent uh, one one zero direction. So if we come down into this angle here, then again we're looking along that crystallographic direction. And I think that you can uh, maybe see uh, perhaps even more clearly now that we've got this zigzag arrangement that we're looking along, these atoms going along there. And so if we look at the bonding of each of uh, these atoms, uh, for instance we'll look at this, this, this atom here, uh, then it's forming two bonds to its neighbouring arsenic atoms which are in the 110 plane. And then we've got a, a bond which goes up to the plane above uh, that atom and a bond which goes down to the plane below that atom. And in fact, you can see as well here that at the top on the top rows along here, we've got the same row forming. But in this case, of course, because we're at the surface, we, each of these atoms has got a bond down to the layer below. But the bond which was previously formed to the layer above, up here, that's broken now, so that's essentially a dangling bond, and we need to think about the electronic states of those electrons, how they're going to react to uh, uh, the, that free surface being formed. So just to go up and look at these, uh, this bonding again of the surface atoms, so just as a reminder, we've got this zigzag here, and then if we look at this uh, one of these surface atoms, for instance this one here, these are our in two in-plane bonds, that's the bond down to the layer below, uh, and then there's a missing bond there. Similarly for the arsenic atom, that's the bond down to a plane below, and here we've got the two in-plane bonds.